All right. Welcome to Black Hat 2017 with SecurityGuyRadio.com and SecurityGuyTV.com. And what's your name, young lady? Pam O'Neill. And what's the name of your company? So I'm with Absolute Software. Now, tell us what Absolute does. So Absolute has a very unconventional product in the endpoint visibility and control space. We actually have a cloud-based platform that allows you to see and control all of your endpoint population based on a connection that's already embedded in the firmware of laptops, tablets, phones, you name it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Because that's down at the at the uh, process, manufacturing level, kind yes. of. Deep. Right? Yeah, yes. it's, it's embedded at the factory by the top manufacturers. Now, who else oh. does this? Anybody? No one that I know of. Well, and we haven't found one. Now, is Absolute the parent company or is there a parent company? Nope, Absolute's the name of the company. We are just, I hate to use this cliche, but I'll pull it out, the best kept secret in the industry. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, had to, had to use that go. one. <laughs> yes. Now, because I, I get all my software companies mixed up. Are you the guys that do the tracking? That used to do tracking? Um, well, I guess you've heard it as tracking, tracing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. So uh, oh. also marketed to consumers under the brand name of LoJack. But before that, it was not LoJack. It was CompuTrace. There you go. Back in the day, am I yeah, right? Oh, oh boy. Steel way, trap. Way Steel trap. I am surprised. <laughs> well, no. I, I bought this product at Fox. <laughs> uh -huh. And we oh, were one of your first customers. Nice. And I, I bought the software, and my vice president said, that's ridiculous. We don't need these things. Wow. Put it on his laptop. His laptop got stolen in go. Las Vegas. One year later, <laughs> it dialed him from Ohio. There you go. What? And we got it back. Okay, so imagine for that one power second. Yeah. now as a security solution. Okay, now, now I'm listening. Right. I'm impressed. All right, right, so tell us more about this. Okay, so um, no longer just that tracing, tracking type technology. We basically uh, converted to much more of an endpoint security, endpoint visibility and control. So we now offer three key solutions. One being, um, of course, you know, your traditional always connected IT asset management. Right. But for this yeah. audience, they're going to be more interested in our self-healing endpoint security. Self-healing. Oh my yes. God, another great like word. That. Yes, yes. So um, with that connection to the hardware, we can actually reinstall and repair any of the endpoint agents, including our yeah. own, on your laptop, on your phone, oh you gosh. name it. Yeah, this so includes mobile. It includes mobile. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in addition to our cloud-based visibility and control agents, we can self-heal other agents too. Um, so we've made it available to third parties. And then the really what it gets down to at the end of the day is protecting your data, right? So we've also um, expanded into data protection um, and visibility. So let's say someone stores your, your um, sensitive data on a cloud app, a cloud storage app, or they have it on their unprotected or um, out of compliance laptop that they leave in a, in a taxi. Um, we can identify that at-risk data and wipe it clean, freeze the device, That's uh, to, all to protect really your sensitive Well, data. this is what you did with the low jack stuff back in the day, right? Yes. So you've yes. taken that technology. Now, this sounds unique to me. Does anybody else do this? Really? I, I don't think I, so. I honestly can tell you that I don't know of another company right. that has that uh, privileged, we call it a privileged position, and we take that privilege seriously. So, um, yeah, we have great relationships with the manufacturers in the industry. That's um, a key part of our business. We work with them to uh, produce joint solutions that help their customers stay secure and help our customers stay secure. Now you got to keep changing, stop changing your name, and then we can keep, right, <laughs> copy trace, absolute low jack, right? Well, you know when you're when you've been around the industry as long as we have, yeah, you have, <laughs> you know those that, things happen. Yeah. And a Canadian-based company, Sharice, oh, we that love uses Canadian the Royal based. Canadian Mounties to catch the bad guys. <laughs> wow! If your if your computer's stolen, indeed, we do track down laptops via uh, yeah. Royal Canadian Mounties, no. and they've recovered something like you know thirty-six thousand devices. A little worldwide. fun fact here for it's you guys. Now, what was very interesting, and tell me if this ties into what you're doing now and I'll bet it does behind the scenes. One thing they did was they would take the data they get on these phones, right? And so your phone gets stolen, your laptop mm -hmm. gets stolen, it winds up in Bulgaria, and it turns out that that stolen device, more than not, was being used in criminal enterprises. Correct. That's why it got stolen, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. And they would have this data they could put together and aggregate and say, oh, look, you know, laptops that wind up over here in this country tend to be in child trafficking, and they had all this very interesting wow. information on it now. Yeah. So now, if you're taking this stuff to the, you know, the circuit board, uh, cathode ray tube level right. uh, of, of devices, are you gathering data that is used for analytics? In other words, this, my phone, by the way, T-Mobile, you're better than AT&T, you're better than Verizon, but you're still a bunch of idiots, okay? My phone turns itself on, it turns itself off. 
I'm convinced it's been hacked. Nobody can fix it. It's a big pain in the butt. Sure. I actually have your software on there, but not this uh-huh. type, right? So can this can this new version of what you're doing take that and say, Chuck, I'm fixing it for you. And by the way, now that I've fixed it five times, I know it's coming from your brother-in-law who's, sure. in, who's a jerk and he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is it, right. Are we going backwards at not only fixing, but figuring out what happened? Well, so I think you're seeing um, the natural evolution toward that these days, right? So yeah. most enterprises have a security staff that is strapped, right? They're just yeah. overloaded with false alerts, um, data. Uh, they don't know what to do with it all. So the next logical step is uh, artificial intelligence, mis- machine learning, to help you take all of that rich, deep, contextual data and make sense of it so that you're not overloading them with either false alerts or just sheer you know, data, that you're actually providing some intelligence and actionable in- intelligence. Um, so we are absolutely rolling out new capabilities um, quarterly to take advantage of uh, machine learning and all this deep contextual insight that we're providing, you know, yeah. being housed in the firmware to provide that to our customers. So you're going to see a lot coming from us in the next few months. Oh, I'm very excited that. about yes. this. And you, and you guys sit on the, correct me, Sharice, it's not really the BIOS of the phone. What is it? Where, where is it sitting on the phone? It is the BIOS. It is the BIOS. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chuck, and two so, for two, Chuck. Uh, two for two. <laughs> I'm on a roll here. All right. So so you're working with manufacturers at that mm-hmm. level, obviously. Right? Oh, yeah. They're embedding at the factory. And it's Samsung. Who else? Apple? Uh, Dell. You know, the, oh, Dell. The, the biggest names out there. Dell, HP, Lenovo, and 25 others. That's awesome. I remember when I had to really push it to sell 25 bucks a license per year. And Fox was like, oh, $25, that's a lot of, <laughs> lot of stuff. And and I, you were just starting to get into the space to get into the phones, into that market. Right. And I'm, it really is a good product, people. I, I don't, we don't get paid for this. I wish I did. <laughs> but it really is one of the most innovative products out there. Well, thank you for uh, saying so. So tell us how I can get this. Am I am I getting this as an end user? Am I getting, uh, you know, it's an app on my phone? Or is it part of Samsung? Yes. What is it? How's it work? We're really focused on the enterprise license, okay. as you can imagine, and, you know, becoming the backbone, if you will, right. of a security infrastructure um, and IT management as well. So um, it's primarily a direct sell or a buy through your um, our, the OEM partners that we have. So if you're purchasing your infrastructure, your IT assets from Adele, likely we're already embedded. We're in a billion uh, in points already. Wow. Billion. So, yes, a billion. Wow. Yeah, so they'll likely sell How it to is you. Is that a likely unkept secret? Well, because we are already embedded and you know Dell's promoting Dell's brand and yeah. Lenovo's promoting Lenovo's brand. You know, we typically just yeah, that's true. slide it's under a, the radar. Well, it's yeah. a marketing thing, yeah, because yeah. you're not saying it's a Samsung absolute phone, it's yeah. a Samsung phone. And until you're using our dashboard, which is becoming yeah. much more popular these days, um, you can use our dashboard or you can integrate it into your own SIM, but in, until you're seeing that data on a day-to-day basis, you're going to forget a name like absolute. Yeah. Probably you think of it more in terms of the vodka than, yeah. than the software yeah, yeah. company. So, uh, as the user of my phone, phone, when I'm turning on my LoJack version, I'm not really seeing this interface for this product no. that Absolute offers, okay? No. Not really tied together, it's not related. No, it's just tapping into our core persistence Behind the technology. scenes, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Really, really. Awesome. Isn't this interesting? It's very fascinating. Don't we get good guests on here? <laughs> we do. It's fascinating stuff. Chuck, I'm impressed. <laughs> See? I I'm told impressed. You. I well, told happy you. to come back anytime. No, I want you to come on the show and do an hour about this. this, this <laughs> okay. Everybody needs to know about this. This yes. is really very interesting I'd love stuff. to show you some demonstrations yeah. of how powerful this is yeah. now and how we can enable you to really customize everything that you're doing with these endpoints and apply everything that you need to from a management or security aspect to 100% of your endpoints, whether they're on the network or off, whether their endpoint agents are compromised or not. Um, we call that the dark endpoint, by the way. Yeah. Dark and the endpoint. dark endpoint is a breeding ground. So we yeah. want to we want to light up all billion endpoints where we're embedded. So so tell me how um, how would I describe it? Um, how my phone gets updated and repaired mm-hmm. that I don't know about it. Does it come in the latest version of Lollipop? Thanks for Lollipop, by the way. What a piece of junk. Uh, <laughs> Is that where it comes from? Is it all behind the scenes and I don't know it? Or or is it on the fly? My phone's compromised. This phone here, not all the network of Samsung Mm -hmm. phones. And you're going to fix my phone behind the scenes and I don't know about it. Um, It actually triggers a real-time instant reinstall repair. Interesting. On that particular device. Well, it depends. Now, Because sometimes the whole platform's attacked and you got to repair everybody, right? Right. Okay. It really is attached to the specific endpoint agents that are running on your phone. Okay. So an average enterprise has anywhere from six to as many as 20 endpoint agents running on a phone or a laptop to keep 
their data secure, to keep you secure yeah. as an employee, and to keep the network secure, right? And so we're going to be applied to each of those endpoint apps to reinstall them and repair them yeah. each time. I know I break my VPN connection daily. <laughs> I don't know about you, but what? so <laughs> IT is sick of hearing me yeah. call that saying, "I need another you know VPN fix, please." Um, we can just reinstall, repair. We can also give you the visibility to say, hey, um, you know, our, our marketing leader is running around town with all the sensitive data on her laptop and the laptop's not in compliance. So, yeah, really powerful data. I'm just, I'm, my mouth's hanging wide open. This is great. <laughs> yes. Pam O'Neill, absolute.com. Pam, what keeps you up at night? What do you worry about the most? What keeps me up at night? Um, you know, really getting this message out to the security audience that is uh, yeah, you know, a very see that. cynical, yeah. skeptical audience. So yeah. That keeps me up. Excellent. Well, I love your energy. You can come on the show anytime. This is fabulous. Absolute.com. Uh, okay. And now is it Absolute.com and what's the new product kind of it, branding? It's just Absolute. So we're, we're calling it Absolute, the Absolute platform. You okay. You know, getting All modern, right. more modern, and we're there not go. changing. <laughs> we're there just going go. with Absolute. I'm, I'm talking to your Canadian marketing guy that I talked to 30 years ago about this because he kept changing names on things. <laughs> I'm going to stick with Absolute and go from there. Thanks for coming on SecurityGuy right, 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 right